We escaped the threat of the Trisolaran civilization and the destruction of the solar system by the two-dimensional foil, but ultimately failed to escape the return to zero universe. Zhang Heng, who was supposed to be destroyed with the universe, crossed over to the world of the supernatural seminary. What? Is it an alien civilization invasion? Do you still think I haven't suffered enough in the three-body world? Zhang Heng is grieving like a grief-stricken woman. Fortunately, there is no dark forest in this world. There is a king of angels named Caesar who temporarily maintains the order of the universe. There's still time for me to develop again. Kaisha. Who is the civilization on earth? That's right. If there is no one in the universe, I don't know how many people will dominate, how many people will dominate. Mogana. You green pond. Gluttonous civilization. Damn it, what exactly is this thing like a water droplet? Our fleet can't withstand it at all. Hua Yi. Air. Air. Xiang Foil, don't come over. Carl. Zhang Heng, we are both gods of the same kind. Why not study the void with me? Pan Zhen. Dot. Keywords of the novel. Escape from the three-body problem to the chaos without pop-ups, escape from the three-body problem to the chaos complete collection download, escape from the three-body problem to the chaos latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. This scene at this time, just like that scene at that time you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1 This scene at this time, just like that scene at that time in the public security bureau of a certain street in Jusha City. Name. Dot. Occupation. Dot. Hometown. Dot. Your behavior is suspected of disturbing public order. According to the punishment law for disrupting public order, you will be detained for 5 to 10 days and fined. Dot. If you don't speak anymore, I'll really lock you up. In the interrogation room, a female police officer frowned tightly and put down her pen for taking notes with a snap. I want to be angry, but I feel a bit helpless. The person sitting across from her who was questioned by her had no answer to ten questions. If this person is a notorious villain, that would be easy. Since oil and salt are not allowed to enter, we will directly follow the relevant punishment laws and keep them shut until they are willing to speak. But obviously the other party is not, and the reason why she caught him was not because of such a serious matter. Even she began to feel that the other person was probably a mentally ill patient. Her name is Chilin and she is a police officer from Jusha City. The thing is, just over two hours ago, the Public Security Bureau received a call from the public reporting that a man who was an exposed man without clothes actually ran naked on the street in broad daylight. Running naked on the street is illegal. Chilin, who was on duty outside, happened to be nearby so she rushed to the scene immediately and arrested her. So, the scene before us appeared. The clothes that the person across from her is currently wearing were also bought by her on the spot. Along the way, this naked runner never said a word from beginning to end, and his expression was dull, completely unlike a normal person. Based on her years of experience as a police officer, the other person doesn't seem to be pretending. If that's the case, it's not possible to directly punish mental illness. I can't find a reason to ask, I can only see if I can contact his family and ask them to take him back. Abandoning further inquiries, Chilin stood up and began packing up her paper and pen, intending to go find her colleagues to handle the remaining matters. Hey, where is this? At that moment, the person sitting opposite her finally spoke up. Chilin was taken aback and stopped her movements. My gaze once again fell on this person, and my gaze met hers. Compared to the dull and dull expression he had just had, this person's gaze now, except for a hint of confusion, is no different from that of a normal person. Don't you remember how you got here? Chilin's eyes did not move, her heart was half believing, and she casually asked. I don't remember. The person replied seriously. After he finished answering, Chilin's gaze shifted. 
she did not catch any signs of lying from the other person's eyes, indicating that they were not lying. At this moment, Chilin directly classified this person as intermittent mental illness. Then there's no need to be so troublesome. Taking advantage of the other party's current recovery, quickly inquire about their origin, and then send them back to complete the task. Chilin thought so and sat back in her seat, starting to inquire again. What's your name? Where do you live at home? Following the procedure, Chilin directly began to inquire about the other party's background and name. I didn't tell the other party first, it was because I had committed something that I came here. She was afraid to excite this intermittent mental patient to the point of becoming mentally unstable again. Let's first inquire about the origin before proceeding. Zhang Heng. Without hesitation, Zhang Heng blurted out his answer. From. Hey. Where did I come from? Zhang Heng's answer is almost reflexive. Just as I was about to reveal my background, I suddenly realized that my mind was blank. He couldn't recall any other information about himself besides his name. How could this be? He immediately panicked. And with a splitting headache, I couldn't help but want to pat my head in an attempt to alleviate the pain. The more he takes pictures, the crazier he becomes. Chilin is also panicking. The behavior of mental illness cannot be viewed with common sense. Ignoring its thoughts, she quickly went over and stopped Zhang Heng's self-harm behavior. After being held down for a while, Zhang Heng finally calmed down. A heavy memory swept over my mind. He finally remembered. All his mother remembered. He 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 he. After recovering his memory, Zhang Heng happily let out bursts of strange laughter and started laughing he he. It really makes Chilin's scalp tingle. Zhang Heng doesn't care how she feels in her heart at this moment. Anyway, he is very happy now. Not only did he not die this time. And I have traveled through it again. The child has no mother, it's a long story. He was originally an ordinary person from China on earth, after an accidental death. He discovered that he had actually traveled through the Huaxia kingdom of another earth. At first, he thought he had traveled to an ordinary parallel world, but later realized it was a three-body world in science fiction. When he first arrived at the Trisolarans world, the technology of Earth civilization had already been locked down by Zizi, and the world knew that the Trisolarans were about to invade. At that time, the people of the entire Earth civilization were filled with despair in their hearts. What kind of troublemakers, ETO adventurers, and so on are causing trouble? Even as a traveler, Zhang Heng's heart is filled with despair. After all, he is still an ordinary person. Even more so, his despair is greater than others. Because he knows more. Are Trisolarans scary? No, Trisolarans are also insects. What's even more terrifying is still ahead. Fortunately, Heaven could not stop him, and later he had his own experiences. With this, he escaped the threat of the Trisolaran civilization. There have also been foolish thoughts of wanting to save humanity. Even Luo Ji cannot save humanity, how can he be virtuous and capable? Humans do not thank Luo Ji, nor do they need him, Zhang Heng human beings have chosen Qing Xian to become the new sword wielder the Trisolarans revealed their claws and teeth gravity in blue space have made final judgments on two civilizations at this point, the solar system has become a place of death that the entire universe cannot avoid. He could only escape early and escape the destruction of the solar system by the two-directional foil. Unfortunately, like most civilizations in the three-body world, he ultimately failed to escape the zeroing and restart the universe, ending his life together with the entire universe. Are you okay now? Zhang Heng instantly sorted out all his memories, and Qi Lin saw that he seemed to have returned to normal, so she carefully released him and asked. Well, it's okay. Zhang Heng nodded. It's not a big deal for you to do this. Quickly tell us where your home is so that we can notify your family to come and pick you up. Alternatively, we can send you back directly. Chilin simply didn't follow the procedure. The guy in front of her was simply too torturous. 
she was really scared just now. Now I just want to quickly ask about Zhang Heng's background and immediately send him back to Ye to avoid getting sick again. Home. Zhang Heng didn't know how to answer for a moment. He was unsure whether his rebirth journey had returned to his original world or was still in the three-body world. Or, to put it another way, it has traveled to another world. Zhang Heng looked at Qilin, ready to sidetrack and inquire before proceeding. Oh, this female comrade looks a bit familiar. Zhang Heng had been in a state of confusion before, and he had never paid attention to the appearance of this female police officer. Now, upon seeing this beautiful female police officer actually has a sense of familiarity. This feeling is definitely not the kind that an old color critic intends to see color. Absolutely not. He is confident that he must have met the other person somewhere. Seeing Zhang Heng's voice suddenly pause again, he stared at himself without turning his gaze. Chilin couldn't help but feel a bit nervous, not worried about what the other person would do to her. She is still very confident in her skills. She is worried that the other person will fall ill again and she can't help but hit someone. I remember. Zhang Heng stood up with a thud, may I ask this female comrade, is your name Chilin? After Zhang Heng tried hard to recall, he finally remembered where he had seen this female police officer. Isn't this the policewoman Chilin from the super seminary? Before Chilin could answer, Zhang Heng glanced at the police number 520520 on her chest and confirmed its accuracy. Damn it. This is another his mother world where aliens want to invade the earth. Sigh. Earth is really full of disasters and difficulties thinking about this, although Zhang Heng felt a bit helpless in his heart, he did not break the defense as he did when he first arrived in the three-body world. The dark forest of the three-body world. Besides being able to see water droplets, light particle strikes, and two-dot-dimensional foils. These terrifying things. You can't even see the shadows of those old six. Compared to that, the world of supernatural theology is not as hopeless. Whether it's the invasion of gluttonous civilization or the chaos caused by demons, at least the enemy can still see and fight. Only what is invisible is the most frightening. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Survival is the first need you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Survival is the first need, do you know me? Although Chilin was somewhat surprised, she was not too surprised by the other party's knowledge of her own name. As a police officer, she is on duty almost every day in the jurisdiction and has some popularity among the public, so there is nothing abnormal about her. Since Zhang Heng knows her, he must be a local of Jiuxia City. Chilin thought so and urged again, tell me your address so that I can take you back. Unfortunately, she was mistaken. Zhang Heng has no home in this world. I, I can't remember. Zhang Heng couldn't directly reveal his true background, so he had to start evasive. Dot. Chilin gently rubbed her forehead, it was really a headache. How long have you been experiencing this symptom? Chilin had to change the topic and ask about other things. What does it mean? Zhang Heng is puzzled. Immediately, Chilin pointed her finger at his head and said, mental symptoms. Um. No, I'm not sick. It was because. Well, there's no way to explain this, so I had to continue to speak hard. Anyway, I'm not mentally ill. Of course, mental illness will not admit to one's own mental illness, and Chilin expressed understanding. Then you can stay in the police station for now. Chilin has no intention of asking again, thinking that continuing to ask is also a waste of time. She was also worried that Zhang Heng would fall ill again, and said she would strip her panties and pull out a monkey skin band, and then make a slingshot to hit her house glass. When can I leave then? Seeing Chilin about to leave the interrogation room, without specifying how to deal with herself, Zhang Heng frowned. Wait for the notification, I'll let you know once we find out your home address. After speaking, Chilin left the interrogation room without looking back. She dare not easily let Zhang Heng leave. 
patients with mental illness like this, without knowing if the other party still has a tendency towards violence, cannot be released and cause other troubles. A safe strategy is to temporarily leave it inside the police station and wait for further processing. Zhang Heng looked at Qilin's departing figure, hesitating to speak before finally closing his mouth. Qilin treated him as a mental illness, and he couldn't refute it. However, in his previous state, it is not wrong to treat him as a mental illness. Sigh. Zhang Heng sat back on the interrogation chair, sighed, and began examining his current body. He was dressed in ordinary casual clothing for men, which Qilin bought for him. Apart from that, there is nothing else. Even the whole body was a bit dirty. Hands and feet covered in mud, disheveled and disheveled, what a wandering image. Although a bit messy, my body is quite healthy. There is no place of disability. Since he survived the disaster, he has once again traveled to this world of supernatural seminaries. So it means that his life will start over again. At present, this world is also like the three-body world, and the earth is about to face the invasion of extraterrestrial civilizations. Regardless of whether the Trisolarans are strong, or whether they are gluttonous or demonic, this is a meaningless question. As an ordinary person, whether it is the former or the latter, no matter which one arrives, he has no chance of survival. Perhaps, the earth civilization of this world is fortunate to have a strong army, and there will also be continuous assistance from the angel civilization in the future. The fate of earth civilization is not as bad as in the three-body world, and a large number of people have fortunately survived this disaster. But who can guarantee that they won't be the unlucky one? In the context of such a civilized war, ordinary people cannot determine their own destiny. If Zhang Heng doesn't want to die under the cannons of gluttony and the claws of demons from the beginning, he must work hard to break away from the realm of ordinary people. Becoming Superman Who doesn't want it? Is this something that can be achieved by thinking? Obviously not. In the world of the three body, Zhang Heng was able to endure until the end because he had gained some opportunities. Encounter Thinking of his golden finger in the three body world, Zhang Heng couldn't help but feel a movement in his heart. I don't know if my golden finger has traveled with me. Ida, are you still here? Zhang Heng tentatively recited a sentence in his heart. This is the way he communicates with his golden finger in the Trisolaran's world. Ida, that's the name of this golden finger. Ida is a super artificial intelligence that exists like a life form of data. In the understanding of the world of supernatural theology, she can be understood as the sub-biological engine of the dark plane. Although there are significant differences between the two, there is a commonality that is the same. They are both things that cannot be seen or touched. When I first met Ida in the three-body world, she was a bit clumsy. Over a long period of time, her intelligent program has been damaged by more than half, and the data in the database is severely missing. Fortunately, she can still remember her background. It is said that she was created by a civilization that is equivalent to a peripheral civilization. However, her main civilization had already been extinct millions of years ago, leaving only her artificial intelligence. It is hard to imagine how powerful the extinction of her main civilization is. You should know that in the world of the three body, even the Singer civilization that uses the two-dot way foil has lost the war with the peripheral civilization. Finally, the Singer civilization had to use the two-dot dimensional foil on a large scale, which is enough to show that the marginal civilization is not weaker than the Singer civilization. There is probably only a divine level civilization like the Zero that can eliminate the Edge civilization. So, don't underestimate Ida's artificial intelligence even though her main civilization has been destroyed. When the Zeroing civilization had not yet taken action, Zhang Heng relied on her to make it all the way to the Zeroing universe in the three-body world. Ida Zhang Heng called for a long time, but did not receive any response. Just as I was disappointed, I suddenly felt a response. Hey, I'm here. A female voice was heard in Zhang Heng's mind, 
which was exactly the same as the voice of someone with artificial intelligence impairment and someone with love. This was out of bad taste, and Zhang Heng later modified it himself like this. Great, Ida, what's your current situation? While Zhang Heng's heart was calm, he couldn't help but worry about Yida's condition. Her current state seems to be a bit off, she called out for so long before giving a response. Just like when I first met her, clumsy. I, I don't know. Beep 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 beep. Yida answered while emitting a series of error prompts. Sure enough. Zhang Heng let out a deep sigh. Ida is broken again. Fortunately, with repair experience, Zhang Heng was not too worried. In the current world of supernatural seminaries, since Qilin is still a police officer, it means that gluttony and demons have not yet begun to cause chaos on earth. He still has time to repair Ida. Even if the gluttonous demons have already appeared, as long as Caesar has not fallen, they dare not make it public. Speaking of this Queen Caesar, Zhang Heng still quite agrees with her. Unlike those in the early days of the supernatural seminary, they somewhat resent the superiority of Caesar and the angels. It is understandable that the Divine Academy is unwilling to sacrifice some people. Zhang Heng also agrees with the approach of the Chaos Hen Academy, as the saying goes, after all, no one can guarantee that they will not be the unlucky person. However, from the perspective of a weak civilization, isn't Caesar's just order better than the dark forest? The weak should have the consciousness of the weak, let alone dominate their own destiny. The earth humans in the three-body world, those facing the wall who want to survive by cutting off their tails, still cannot find a way. Do you still want to choose for yourself? What does it have to do with destroying you? What did the earth become after Caesar fell? What has the entire universe become again? All kinds of demons and monsters have jumped out. If it weren't for the new angel King Yen ascending to power and helping the earth like a mother, it remains to be seen whether the earth could still withstand it. Civilization continues to grow and expand, but the total amount of material in the universe remains unchanged. What do those who oppose Kaisha want? Through different experiences, Zhang Heng suffered greatly in the world of the three body. I have also stayed in the three body world for so long, deeply influenced by the concept that survival is the first need of civilization. He has only one position. That is, he will take whichever position is more favorable to him from a broader perspective. Let's get to the point. He must repair Ada before Caesar falls, in order to have enough self dot protection power. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Time is urgent you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 3 Time is urgent on the other side. Chilin left the interrogation room, and not long after, a colleague found her, her partner Xiao Lu. Chilin. After seeing her, Xiao Lu greeted her. Xiao Lu, how's it going? Have you checked the nearby surveillance footage and found out where that guy came from? Qilin saw clearly the person coming and began to inquire. This colleague Xiao Lu had already assisted Zhang Heng in conducting an investigation when she brought her back to the police station. No, that guy seems to have appeared out of thin air. Xiao Lu shook his head and said, well, you should watch it yourself. Xiao Lu didn't know how to explain to Qilin, so he immediately took out the copied surveillance video and handed it to her. Okay. Chilin frowned and still took the USB drive. A person who appears out of thin air. How could it be? As long as it is a person, there must be a background. The monitoring systems of various streets in Jiuxia City are already very complete. Except for some individual dark corners, most other areas can be covered. So it's not a very difficult task to find out where a person first appeared and where they last appeared. However, as her partner, Xiao Lu also knows her ability to handle things. Since Xiao Lu said that, he will definitely not let it go without reason. With a mind full of doubts, Qilin came to the computer and then inserted a USB drive. 
There are several video files with varying durations inside, and I directly clicked on the first one with the mouse. This is a video that lasts for over 2 minutes and is displayed at 5.18 am. At the beginning, no one appeared in the surveillance footage. Until one minute later, a lightning-like light suddenly fell, followed by a naked man appearing in the painting. What kind of ghost? Chilin looked bewildered and even began to doubt whether the surveillance video had been enhanced with special effects. Continuing to watch the surveillance footage, the naked man appeared as if asleep, lying motionless until the video ended. Chilin couldn't figure it out, so she closed this video file and clicked on the second one. The duration of this video is over 3 minutes, and the time it starts displaying is still 5.18 am. The position in the screen is still the first video, it's just a different angle. Obviously, this is a supporting video. The content in this video is basically the same as the first one. Chilin was unwilling and continued to click on the remaining surveillance videos one by one. It's the same finally, there is the scene of the naked man waking up and wandering on the street. Good guy. Xiao Lu is still speaking conservatively, where does this seem to appear out of thin air? Clearly, it is. Chilin, these surveillance videos were all taken by me from different places. Among them, there are public surveillance cameras, those installed by store owners, and those installed by residents themselves. So it's not very likely to be manipulated at the same time. At this moment, Xiao Lu also came behind Chilin and explained to her. Chilin nodded at the words. Xiao Lu is right. If there is only one surveillance camera displaying this, it may be a prank. But with so many supporting videos, it's difficult to cheat at the same time. Moreover, this is not a shocking case, it is not worth putting so much effort into falsifying. It's just running naked on the street. Generally, at most, verbal education is given, and only those with bad behavior will be detained and fined. Write a report. Chilin turned around and said to Xiao Lu. This can be classified as a suspense case. However, fortunately, no serious accidents occurred, and the situation can be quite minor. After writing the report and submitting it, there is no need for the two of them to worry about what to do specifically. In the evening, Zhang Heng is still confined in the interrogation room. He doesn't worry about food and drink, and when it's time, his comrades will bring him food. Police officer, may I ask when I can go out? A police officer brought dinner to Zhang Heng, and he seized the opportunity to inquire. Don't worry, we will let you out when we contact your family. This police officer has a friendly tone. He also knows the situation of Zhang Heng and the reason why he was left here. If you feel like a pitiful person, there's no need to be as serious as dealing with other suspects. Can't you keep me confined in this small room? Zhang Heng tried to persuade the other person, it's easy to get depressed. He knew his own situation and knew that no family could be found by the policewoman, but he couldn't really be kept locked up like this. Okay, but your range of action is limited to the police station. You can walk freely in the lobby, and don't trespass in other places. After hearing Zhang Heng's words, the police officer thought it was the same, the other person is already mentally ill, it's not good to hold back a depression. Immediately, he agreed to Zhang Heng walking out of the interrogation room with a happy compromise. Although I can't go out yet, it's better than staying in the interrogation room all the time. After thinking for a moment, Zhang Heng no longer continued to pester this police comrade. Let's take it step by step first. If it doesn't work, we'll have to force ourselves to leave. After cleaning the food in a few strokes, the police officer followed him to the police hall. No, you. You know who I am, don't you? Lu Chuang, an unemployed vagrant, has repaired a watch and worked in sales after graduating from high school. He has been arrested for multiple fights and brawls, and currently lives in Jingai Hut Hong. Not me. Superhero, saving all humanity. Who told you that? Dot. As soon as he arrived at the police hall, Zhang Heng heard the above conversation. 
Looking through the sound, I saw Chilin sitting in front of a computer with a serious expression on her face. Across from her sat a man of three big and five thick, with a fierce face. This man has a big mouth accent and angrily confronts Chilin with his words. Looking aside, there was also a man being questioned by other police officers. Police officer, there are surveillance cameras on camera. I, act bravely for justice. The man explained in a jarring voice. I know you have a good heart, but we also need to pay attention to the method, don't we? This matter can be judged as a malicious injury, do you know? The police officer criticized. Seeing this scene, Zhang Heng understood it clearly in his heart. He immediately knew what had happened. I thought I had enough time left for myself, so I didn't have to rush and just develop slowly. However, based on the current situation, time has become somewhat urgent. The two people who appeared in the police hall, the former was Lu Chuang, the god of war of Nova, and the latter was undoubtedly Gu Xiaoluan, the power of the Milky Way. If the two appear here, it means they have activated the genetic system. After them, the other gene warriors of the supernatural seminary will also activate their own super genes one after another. At the same time, angels, demons, and gluttons have all arrived on earth. Taiping, it won't last long. If I remember correctly, Chilin will have an accident tonight, and then she will also be discovered with a super gene. The progress of the following events remains the same as before. Soon, Rose and Ajai appeared and released Gu Xiaoluan on bail. Lu Chuang was thrown into the detention center amidst words such as low.key police officers, sexy female police officers, and seeking revenge after coming out. Zhang Heng walked over only after Qilin had finished handling her own affairs. He already had an idea to escape in his heart. Come and stay short, feel free to invest, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Understanding Female Police Officers You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Understanding Female Police Officers, Comrade Chilin, I remember where my family lives. Arriving in front of Chilin, Zhang Heng said. Are you sure? Chilin looked up at him and said suspiciously. Sure. Zhang Heng remained calm and said, Can you take me back? It's possible, but you have to say where it is first. If it's too far, I can only send you back tomorrow. Chilin ultimately chose to temporarily believe his words. Compared to inexplicable things like appearing out of thin air, she still prefers to lean towards what Zhang Heng is saying at this moment. The report she wrote has been submitted, and her superiors have also given instructions. Just let her handle it on her own, she can be temporarily detained at the police station or released. Afterwards, just pay attention to monitoring and observing more. It seems that her superiors have the same idea as her and are not very willing to believe such bizarre things. It's also because Zhang Heng didn't commit any major crimes and was not worth the trouble. The police receive countless bizarre cases every year, how could they waste their police force on such trivial matters? Flying Area Zhang Heng reported an address. This is the place in the original plot where gluttony will appear tonight. At that time, the gluttony indiscriminately opened fire and hit the ground, causing chaos. The army will go to battle as soon as possible, and Chilin and other police officers will also receive orders to evacuate the crowd there. That's right, he falsely claimed that his home was there and asked the other party to take him back, with the intention of escaping tonight while the situation was chaotic. Although this behavior may be a bit unfair, without him, Chilin and other police officers would have been assigned there as well. Chilin has to be shot both vertically and horizontally this is a predetermined thing, instead of continuing to be detained in the police station, wasting the already limited time. Why not take advantage of this matter to get out of it reasonably? At that time, it is only natural for people to think that he also died in the chaos caused by gluttony. At night. A police car is driving on the road leading to the Fei Lu area. There are three people in the police car, with Xiao Lu in the driver's seat, Qi Lin in in the passenger seat, and Zhang Heng in the back seat. 
Along the way, Xiao Lu and Qilin chatted aimlessly. Zhang Heng remained silent in the back seat, lost in thought. During the day, that Lu Chuang really angered me and dared to threaten the police. When it comes to daytime events, Qilin gets angrier and angrier as she thinks about it. When it comes to Lu Chuang, she hates it so much that her teeth itch. Don't have the same view as him, I'll protect you. Upon seeing this, Xiao Lu immediately spoke out and comforted, while also showcasing his masculinity. Do you need your protection? Upon hearing this, Chila not only remained unmoved, but also rolled her eyes and said. Xiao Lu was not angry about it either. He knew Chilin's temper, and joking with each other didn't affect the friendship between colleagues and comrades. We have entered the Fei Lu area. So, Mr. Zhang, where did you say your family lives? Speaking with a smile, Xiao Lu drove a police car into the Fei Lu area. Ah, wait for me to take a look. Zhang Heng leaned his head towards the window, pretending to go and find the way. Hmm. Why hasn't there been any movement yet? There were no signs of gluttony causing chaos, and the flying area was calm. Probably in the direction of airport road. After observing the situation outside the car window, Zhang Heng turned back and said to Xiao Lu. The flying area is so large, it should be nowhere to be found. Zhang Hengxin thought and made up his mind, even if he comes early, the scam will still trick the two of them into taking him for a ride in the Fei Lu area until the gluttony appears. However, it seems that there's no need to be so much trouble. As soon as Zhang Heng finished speaking, the walkie-talkie in the police car also sounded. Car 143, Car 143 there is an emergency situation on Filiu Airport Road where unidentified terrorists attacked asterisk asterisk dot. Please immediately rush to the accident site to provide support with vehicle 143. Dot. Upon receiving the order, Chilin and Xiao Lu exchanged a glance. However, neither of them seems to be aware of the seriousness of the situation at this moment. This is Jusha City, who dares to asterisk asterisk dot. Chilin was shocked and said. Xiao Lu didn't say much and immediately turned on the alarm of the police car, causing the speed to suddenly increase. Mr. Zhang, you have also heard that we have received an urgent task and cannot send you back. You can get off here. There was still a long way to go before the warning line was raised, so Chilin quickly asked Xiao Lu to stop the police car and turned around to greet Zhang Heng to get off. That's so kind of you. Zhang Hengxin said a word and immediately opened the car door to get off. He was originally worried that the incident would suddenly happen, and he would have to suffer some hardships along with it. He would only be able to escape smoothly after being bombarded with gluttony. I didn't expect Comrade Chilin to be so understanding, he is really a good police officer. Hey, wait, don't run around aimlessly. Don't walk towards the airport road. You can just find a safe place to hide and wait for us to solve it at dawn before you go home. Remember. As soon as Zhang Heng got off the car, Chilin poked her head out and reminded him. Okay. Zhang Heng nodded and ran in the opposite direction without looking back. Boom. At the same time, other combat units are also rushing towards this side. Bhutan collaborated and the target was aligned in the air. There is only one target, which looks very tall and has the ability to fly, wearing a very heavy armor. Ordinary bullets cannot penetrate, and ordinary missiles cannot cause effective damage to them. The target is currently fleeing in a direction outside the airport road. Please pay attention, all units. At this point, the latest intelligence information was transmitted to the police car. Boom. Bang. Several more explosions sounded, and tanks not far from the police car, as well as armed helicopters hovering in low altitude, were fatally hit and instantly turned into a pile of scrap metal. The flames engulfed the sky. Xiao Lu dared not drive any further and had to stop and get off with Qilin. Qilin was stunned by the scenes in front of her as soon as she got off the car. Is this filming a movie? Bang! 
Just as she was stunned for a few seconds, a blue light flew towards her and instantly penetrated her chest. On the other hand, Zhang Heng, who was running away, couldn't help but turn back frequently due to the continuous sound of explosions. His eyesight was excellent, and he naturally witnessed the moment when Qilin was shot. Oh, oh. Zhang Heng quickly quickened his pace again. Don't he want to have a heroic scene to save the beauty? Yes, he doesn't want to. With his current average physical strength, he cannot withstand such a challenge. Besides, Qilin doesn't need him to save her either. He couldn't have died from the beginning. Knowing that he couldn't die, he still had to rush up and pay his respects. What are you trying to do? Pooh. Inferiority. That gluttonous creature seemed to be addicted to killing, and after losing its ability to move, its gaze shifted back to the distance. Coincidentally, Zhang Heng, who was running on the road at this moment, was particularly eye-dot catching. At the same time, suddenly another police car drove towards us. Young man, why are you here too? The police car stopped and poked its head towards Zhang Hengdao. Zhang Heng also knows this person, and it is the police officer who brought him food during the day. This police officer must have received an order to come and support him as he arrived here at this moment. Out of courtesy, Zhang Heng had to temporarily stop. However, before he could reply, he felt a heat wave coming from behind. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Black Hole City Wall You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Black Hole City Wall Gita, hurry up, activate the Black Hole City Wall for defense. Without looking back, Zhang Heng knew it was the glutton who was launching an attack at him. What is the specific situation with Ida now? Zhang Heng himself cannot say for sure. Communicating with Yida at a critical moment was his subconscious move. When he was in the three-body world, he came all the way here. With a movement of thought, Ida can receive instructions and execute them quickly. At this moment, the Sodot called Black Hole City Wall that he asked Yida to use is actually a knockoff. The true Black Hole City Wall is just a legend in the universe of the three-body world, and no one has ever seen such a thing. It is said that it is a defensive weapon created by divine civilizations who have mastered the laws of the universe. The wars of those divine civilizations have already reached a state of madness. Various celestial bodies are just marbles in their hands, and can even connect black holes in the universe to form city walls. Surround the location of one's own civilization with a black hole city wall. Once other civilizations launch an attack, anything will fall into the black hole and cannot escape. Even if the two-dot-dimensional foil is inserted into the black hole, it will freeze at the event horizon of the black hole. The center of a black hole is a singularity, which is zero-dimensional. So two-dot-dimensional foils cannot two-dot-dimensional black holes. If possible, wouldn't it become an upgrade? So, the black hole wall is undoubtedly the most advanced defense weapon. There is no technology related to the black hole city wall in Ida's database. It is estimated that the main civilization of Ida had never possessed such a weapon, otherwise it would not have been destroyed. Ida cannot provide technical support, and Zhang Heng, who is in the dark forest, is envious of this top. Notch defense weapon. What should we do then? I can only think about it myself. So he really came up with such a knockoff version of the black hole city wall. His counterfeit goods are actually more appropriate to be called wormhole city walls. I only thought about rubbing against the name black hole city wall just to make it sound more imposing. It is similar to the wormhole handling technique used by roses. Rose will soon use this technology in the Battle of Tianhe, transmitting the firepower emitted from the ground directly to the interior of the defense shield of the Taotai warship. In this way, the vanguard battleship of Taotai was successfully destroyed. The wormhole city wall that Zhang Heng himself has come up with is also similar in its beauty. The wormhole walls he released can also choose to redirect firepower to other places. 
you can also choose to store it for a certain period of time or digest it directly inside the wormhole. Because after releasing the wormhole, it means that a small universe has been built behind the wormhole. The technology of establishing a small universe is not considered such a remarkable technology in the three-body universe. The vast majority of civilizations can possess and use it, and even the Trisolarans eventually learn how to use it. When the Zeroer wanted to return to Zero and restart the universe, countless civilizations including the Trisolarans and Ching Xian hid in the small universe however, it seems that Rose only uses this technology for storage and teleportation, and has not reached the point where a civilization can survive in it. The black hole city wall has been activated. Unexpectedly, Ida gave a response. Zhang Heng's subconscious actions actually had their own, there are dates, but there are no dates. It means hitting a stick first. Originally prepared to be shot, but unexpectedly, in a state of shutdown, Ida actually managed to bring out the black hole city wall again. Between the electric light and flint, a nearly transparent bubble enveloped Zhang Heng's body. The police officer in the police car also realized the danger at this moment and immediately spoke out to remind him, be careful. As he spoke, the police officer quickly unbuttoned his seatbelt. It seems like I want to jump out of the car window and avoid the upcoming attack. Zhang Heng gave him a slight glance, and without hesitation, a tiny wormhole bubble separated and wrapped around the police officer. Boom! The police car exploded and a deep pit was also blasted out on the ground. Under this level of impact, even if the body of an ordinary person is not turned into flesh and mud, it must be torn apart. However, Zhang Heng is still doing well. A few laser guns and cannons flying towards him immediately disappeared when they touched the wormhole bubbles around him. Even the residual heat from the explosion caused by falling onto the police car and the ground was absorbed by the wormhole bubbles. Zhang Heng seemed to have nothing to do, but that police officer was in dire straits. Not to death. The wormhole bubbles that Zhang Heng gave him, although unable to wrap his whole body, at least protected important parts of his body. Life is saved, but there may be disabilities in the future. Thank you for bringing me the meal. Zhang Heng didn't bother him anymore, removed the wormhole bubble and left this place directly. Trying to save the life of this police officer is the only thing he can do within his current capabilities. If it weren't for Ida's unprecedented extraordinary performance in a state of downtime, he would have suffered himself. After the gluttony opened fire on this side, it seemed that Zhang Heng was determined and did not pay attention to this side anymore. He left in another direction. After the other party fired the cannon and then swaggered away, Zhang Heng naturally had no choice at the moment. Only by first recording this grudge in a small notebook, can we repay it with a gushing spring in the future. Vertical Sun A conference room A group of high-dot-ranking military officials, two women dressed in various colors, and an elderly man in casual clothes, sat around a conference table. The woman with long hair wearing a purple uniform stood up first and said, the following are highly confidential, except for the Supreme Command, only we know. Her name is Lien Fong. She was originally a senior military scientist of the Nova Civilization and is now the staff officer of the soon-to-be-established Xiongbing Company at the Earth Civilization Super God Academy. After a brief pause, Lien Feng continued to explain to the crowd, yesterday morning at 8.45, an alien wearing silver armor broke into the Angel International Building in Tianhe City. After investigation, it was confirmed that she was a female alien from the Angel Nebula. After Lianfeng introduced the relevant information about the Angel one by one, one of the middle-aged men in military uniform continued to add some of what he knew. He is Dukeo, currently holding the rank of general and also the father of Rose. He is also one of the planners for the formation of the Xiongbing Company in the future. After speaking, Du Cao's gaze fell on the remaining woman in the black windbreaker. Lina, what do you think of the glutton who attacked Airport Road last night? Upon hearing this, Lina, who was lost in thought, was taken aback. I almost blurted it out, I sit and watch. She is the light of the sun, Lina. 
Because I was tired of the unchanging tradition of the scorching sun and the boring life of the mascot, and had a good impression of the vibrant and fashionable earth, I reluctantly obtained Pan Jin's consent before coming to earth. Cough. After clearing her throat, Lena also spoke up and said, the gluttonous civilization belongs to the Styx galaxy, where there is a supreme deity named Death God Carl. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Black Great Wall Plan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Black Great Wall Plan Introduced the Gluttonous Civilization and the Grim Reaper Carl. The plainclothes old man couldn't help but question, God. From his serious expression, it is not difficult to see that he does not like the concept of, God. Upon seeing this, Lena waved her hand and smiled, saying, Uncle Huang, carrier-based spaceflight, relying solely on spacecraft and fragile life, is impossible to fly from one galaxy to another alive. So, genetic technology and the project of creating gods began. I know the truth, but we don't really like the concept of God. Uncle Huang didn't hesitate and directly expressed his inner thoughts before raising his hand to signal Lena, please continue. You can understand this concept as a super gene life, Lena politely smiled and continued explaining, dismissive. Actually, they also refer to me as a god, the goddess of the sun. Don't take it to heart. In short, when gluttony comes, it must be primarily about killing in order to please the death god Carl behind them. My suggestion is to launch the Black Great Wall plan that General Panjin once mentioned to you. The so-dot called Black Great Wall plan refers to any attempt by extraterrestrial civilizations to invade the Earth or directly interfere with the progress of Earth civilization on a large scale. Huaxia Kingdom and Chaos Han Academy can simultaneously use this plan to rapidly advance towards the Xinhe level military industry and create a group of God of War level combat units for Earth secrets. This was something that had already been discussed before, and now Lena has brought up the old matter at the appropriate time, of course, it has been passed naturally. The meeting results agreed that the highest command represented by Uncle Huang was fully entrusted to Dukeo to form a black armor company. The black armor company was officially named the Xiongbing Company by Uncle Huang. Next, Dutsao quickly took action. Let Ajai, Rose, and others gather those with super genes to join the Super Theological Academy and officially form the Xiongbing Company. While Ajai and Rose went to find Gu Xiaoluan and others, Lianfeng also came to Qilin's side. Qilin was lying on a hospital bed at the moment, with a blanket covering her snow-white body and a bloody hole below her ribs. Awakening from her coma, Qilin wanted to get up but felt the pain coming from the wound. Ah. Uh. With a painful moan, she gave up the idea of getting up and began to observe the surrounding environment in confusion. At this moment, the door of the ward suddenly opened and a woman in purple uniform walked in. The one who comes is the pity for the wind. Lien Feng glanced at Qilin and then sat down on the chair next to the sickbed before slowly saying, We found. You've been punched through a big hole. But. You're still struggling. We feel like you're different from an ordinary person. Chilin frowned and spoke weakly with a hint of confusion, so she said, What's going on? You are the inheritor of the super gene of the Shinha generation, which is a bit complicated to say and not on our system list, Lien Feng replied. So, although you are not a descendant of the Dino civilization, you are also the inheritor of the Shinha gene. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. After listening to the other party's explanation, Chilin not only failed to dispel her doubts, but also became even more confused. Lianfeng had to continue explaining, the warrior you encountered last night was from an alien civilization, and your own physical performance is better than theirs. You can also be considered a kind of super gene warrior, so you were not killed by them. I think you should be interested in continuing to serve higher dot level security departments. At the end of the sentence, Lianfeng added a suggestion. I care more about my colleagues. However, Qilin was not in a hurry to respond and instead cared about her colleagues who were on duty with her last night. They. Some have already made heroic sacrifices. Lianfeng regretfully replied. 
Dot. Chilin fell silent. After talking to Chilin, Lianfeng went to another ward. There is also a person lying in this ward. Compared to Chilin, this person appears to have suffered more severe injuries, with most of his body severely burned and multiple bone fractures. However, strangely enough, all important parts of this person's body have not suffered much damage without exception. Judging from the explosion power at the scene where this person was discovered, ordinary people have no possibility of survival, let alone being able to protect important parts of their bodies. So, Lianfeng suspects that this person is likely to be like Qilin, although not a descendant of the Dino civilization, but also an inheritor of some kind of divine river super gene. Just the medical staff of the Chaos Hen Academy did not find any hidden super genes on this person during the treatment. When Qilin was being treated, medical staff conducted a series of professional tests and it was easy to detect. There is no situation where individuals with super genes cannot be detected. Since it cannot be detected, medical staff dare not make hasty judgments and can only ask Lianfen to come and see it himself. Before arriving at the hospital bed, Lian Feng looked at the person on the bed for a while, just like she looked at Qilin. But soon her expression became solemn. It's not because something amazing was discovered, but because nothing was discovered. Strange, just an ordinary person. Lianfen couldn't help but murmur to herself. No hidden super genes were found, and there was no residual dark energy on the body, which can also exclude the possibility of interference from others. How did this person do it? Lianfen suddenly became puzzled. If the rose were here, perhaps we could find some clues, hello, may I ask you a few questions first? At this moment, the person on the hospital bed also woke up, and Lianfeng asked. This person is the police officer who saved his life last night, Zhang Heng. His name is Wang Xian, and he is an elderly police officer. Wang Xian had already woken up once before and knew how he got here. Noticing Lianfeng's uniform, Wang Xian nodded in cooperation and said, May I ask you? Lianfeng stopped talking nonsense and went straight to the topic, asking, do you still remember what happened last night before losing consciousness? Wang Xian carefully recalled for a moment before nodding again, I remember, when I received the order to rush to the airport road, I immediately drove a police car to. As I was about to reach my destination, I met a poor young man who I was planning to get in the car, take him to a safe place, and then. That's exactly what happened. Wang Xian, without any omissions, recounted his entire journey to Airport Road last night. Do you know the poor young man you mentioned? Lianfeng noticed the adjectives in Wang Xian's words and immediately felt that the key point of the matter was likely to be here. I know, Sai, a pitiful young man who has been suffering from mental illness at a young age. Wang Xian sighed and continued to cooperate in answering until he had finished all the information he knew about Zhang Heng. All right, thank you for your cooperation. At this point, Lian Feng felt that there was no need to ask again. He just needed to go to the police station to extract relevant information in the future. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Aliens Coming You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 7 Aliens Coming, Unknown Armed Forces Descended from the Sky and Captured Another Crocodile-Shaped Humanoid Creature Witnesses claimed that the entire process was like a science fiction movie, shocking and the incident is currently under investigation. Some people were injured in the incident. Please refer to the report for details. Zhang Heng is in a fast food restaurant, grabbing the dishes from his bowl while staring at the images playing on the TV screen. What was just broadcasted on TV was the news of this morning. This news happened on a pedestrian street in Tianhe City. Firstly, a large humanoid crocodile descended from the sky, clamoring to eat humans, but it had not yet begun to eat. Subsequently, two unidentified flying objects appeared and bombarded the humanoid crocodile in a frenzy. Finally, the humanoid crocodile was defeated and taken away by the two unidentified flying objects. Alas, how could so many strange things have happened recently? Who knew? 
I heard that the same thing happened on Airport Road in the Filiu area last night, and many people died. Are there really aliens coming to invade Earth? The other customers who were dining were also whispering about news-related matters. I hope not, even if it is, it's not something we should worry about. Hurry up and eat, then go back to work. The person speaking seems to be dressed up as a leadership figure from a certain company. Then the aliens should come quickly. Don't think too much, aliens are here, and we also have to work to have food to eat. Ah. The aliens didn't come, we have to go to work, the aliens came, we still have to go to work. Isn't it in vain for the aliens to come? The others spoke one by one and let out long sighs, obviously all ordinary workers. Upon hearing their conversation, Zhang Heng couldn't help but feel a little amused. Once upon a time, he was just like them, boss, give me another bowl of rice. It's been a long time since Zhang Heng started eating like these two days, eating big meals. Or rather, since leaving the solar system in the Trisolarans, he has never eaten anything again, nor have he had the concepts of hunger and food. Due to the limitations of the current physical condition of ordinary people, he also had to follow the rule of eating, drinking, sleeping, and sleeping. However, the long-lost smell of fireworks in the food made him somewhat infatuated, so he decided to take on another bowl. Jixia City is located in the southern part of China, and the local people's living habits are basically the same as the earth they first lived on. Rice can be served in bowls without any extra charge. After finishing his meal, he still needs to find a place to sleep. It's almost afternoon now, and he hasn't slept since last night, so he can't bear it anymore. Alas, flesh and blood are bitter and weak. Quickly filling his stomach, Zhang Heng took out the money he had received from the police officer last night and paid the bill. Last night, when applying wormhole bubbles to the police officer, he put the few dozen dollars he had in his pocket into his own pocket. It's not excessive for Zhang Heng to save his life and give him a reward of several tens of yuan, is it? Moreover, under that powerful cannon, the personal belongings of the police officer were ultimately burned to the point of being almost destroyed. If Zhang Heng doesn't go smoothly, the money will be wasted. Leaving the fast food restaurant, Zhang Heng found a secluded and deserted overpass, and didn't hesitate to fall to the ground and sleep. At the same time, the work of forming the Xiongming Company at the Chaos Hen Academy is also being carried out intensively. The supreme command of the country spoke up, and various institutions actively cooperated unconditionally, summoning personnel and moving very quickly. In just half a day, most of the personnel carrying super genes were gathered in the super seminary. Gu Xiaoluan, Lu Chuang, Zhao Xian, Yao Wen, Rose, Qilin, Rumingmeng, including Lina, are among them. Everyone, as students, is in a classroom. At this moment, the big screen on the classroom blackboard is also playing this morning's news. What's going on here? We're called together, isn't that what we're doing? Gu Xiaoluan couldn't help but calm down, with an incredulous expression on his face. He pointed to the big screen and then turned to look at everyone. I heard from Rose that we're going to fight aliens, that's it. Zhao Xian was also shocked and said, Are you teasing me? You're really hitting aliens, hitting fur. Damn it, am I here to fight against aliens? I, the leader of the Black Shooting Society. How can dozens of brothers outside do this? Sitting in the back row, Lu Chuang, who was pulling like 205, also spoke up. Seeing this, before anyone else could say anything, Qilin, who was still dressed in police uniform, couldn't stand his arrogant appearance first. When the enemy met, their eyes were particularly red. Lu Chuang still held a grudge against Qilin for locking him up in the detention center, and the two immediately started arguing. Dot. The Rose, who remained silent on the side, frowned tightly and shook her head, is this group of crooked melons and split dates a powerful army company? Strike aliens. Sigh. Lu Chuang and Qilin argued more and more fiercely, and Lu Chuang's tone also became more arrogant. Not only did he tease Qilin verbally, but he even dared to tease Lina. 
After a suicidal act, Lena finally couldn't help but go over and strangle his neck, saying, Black brother. Compared to God, would he not take action too much? Later, Lena couldn't help but beat him up. Regardless of their meaningless fights here, in an office of the Chaos Hen Academy, Dukeo and Lienfeng are currently here. The police officer named Wang Xian can already confirm that he is not the inheritor of an unknown super gene. Placing a document in front of Dukeo, Lien Feng said, I suspect there is another reason why he was able to survive the attack of gluttony. This incident is likely related to this mysterious man. This information was just obtained by me from the police station where Qilin used to be. This man named Zhang Heng has a very, very strange background. Speaking of which, Lienfeng didn't know how to introduce Zhang Heng, and could only use the word eerie to describe it. Oh. Upon hearing this, Duca's face darkened as he picked up the materials and began to watch. The information is very brief, except for the name, only the word appears out of thin air. Can't we find any other information related to it? Dukeo was obviously not satisfied with the survey results and asked Lienfeng Dao. Lien Feng shook her head slightly and said, I have already sent someone to investigate in the Filiu area. There is no home in the Filiu area as the other party mentioned. Lien Feng did his best to investigate, even from the database obtained from the census, but he did not find anyone with the same name and appearance. Of course, it cannot be ruled out that the other party is using a pseudonym. However, the more mysterious the other party is, the more it can represent that this event is related to it. Nowadays, the Earth is facing the arrival of multiple forces, and there are already known ones, angels, gluttons, and the suspected demon that appeared this morning. Suddenly, another person emerged who is highly likely to possess extraordinary powers, so one had to be cautious. If the other party is an earthling, they are just self-activating, inheriting the divine river genes outside of the Dino civilization. That's a good thing. On the contrary, it is necessary to consider the cultural forces behind the other party. Whether you are an enemy or a friend, you must always understand. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Knowledge is Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Knowledge is power, however, based on the other party's current behavior, even if they belong to a certain extraterrestrial civilization, they should not hold any malice towards Earth's civilization. Lienfeng gave an analysis. From Zhang Heng's appearance to being arrested by Qilin and taken to the police station, and even to finally rescuing the police officer named Wang Xian, it really doesn't seem like there was any malice. Can we find him? After pondering for a moment, Dukeo asked, and he also agreed with Lienfeng's view. Are you trying to win him over to join the super seminary? Lienfeng could hear the hidden words of Dukao. Everything depends on human factors. Nowadays, the earth is in a tumultuous period. If we can gain more power, we should try our best to do so, admitted Dutsao. Then, he officially instructed Lienfeng to do this. Find him first, talk to him, and if he doesn't want to, don't be evil with him. Yes. Lienfeng also felt that she should give it a try, so she agreed in one gulp. Ah. Zhang Heng woke up the next day. He slept very uncomfortable this night and woke up feeling extremely tired. It's time to get down to business. I casually found a ditch to wash myself up, barely managed to make another meal with the remaining money, and then Zhang Heng came to the outskirts of Jusha City. How to repair it to Yida is probably not something he needs to do, just like repairing machine parts. Ida itself possesses a series of self-healing abilities. He only needs to provide enough energy for Ida to run the self-healing program smoothly. The entire self-healing process can be interrupted. When there is not enough energy to continue running, the self-healing program will remain at a certain percentage point. Until the next time it starts running again, continue with self-repair starting from that percentage point. Zhang Heng only needs to consider how to obtain energy now. The known energy on Earth can be divided into thermal energy, electrical energy, 
radiation energy, nuclear energy, light energy, tidal energy, and so on the essence of energy is a physical quantity measured in four-dimensional space in the physical sense these different forms of energy can be transformed into each other through physical effects or chemical reactions. The most easily obtainable on Earth are only light and heat energy. Light energy can be both visible and invisible, which is the energy possessed by light waves and photons, and broadcasting does not require direct contact. And thermal energy is the kinetic and potential energy possessed by molecules and atoms, which is the vibration and collision of molecules, atoms, and ions, and direct contact is necessary for broadcasting. Among the two options of light energy and thermal energy, it is obvious that the former is easier to obtain some. The sun is the largest source of light energy output in the entire solar system. Whether on Earth, in space beyond Earth, or during day or night. The photons emitted by the sun are constantly and everywhere moving, both visible and invisible. It's a bit difficult. With theory, one must also have the ability to practice. With his current ordinary body, he has no ability to gather photons moving in space and transport them to Eda. It's like a car, you can refuel it, but you can't let the car drink oil on its own, right? Although the original Yida could indeed drink oil on her own, her intelligence and logic are now lost, and there is nothing wrong with comparing it to a car. Since we can't let the car drink oil on its own, can we just let the oil flow into the tank? The only solution that Zhang Heng could think of at this moment was this one. The place he is currently in is a very open grassland, with no obstructions within 10 meters. It is noon, when the sun is scorching and the photons emitted by the sun are most active. In this way, it is equivalent to being in an oil field. Just stand under the sun and let the photon waves pass through his body to generate heat. The light energy is converted into thermal energy and flows into Ida's fuel tank to start the self-repair program. But in that case, he will have to start suffering. Acting as a humanoid solar panel is not something that an ordinary person's body can withstand. After drying for about half an hour, Zhang Heng couldn't bear it anymore and had to temporarily stop. This foolish method has very little effect. After half an hour, Yida repaired the progress bar without even moving it. Although he did the same in the Trisolaran's world back then, he had hundreds of years to develop. There is a gap of several hundred years between the discovery of Zizi's prediction of the arrival time of the fleet. He can go beyond light and heat energy, and during this period, he can also collect other energy to slowly complete the original restoration work of Ida. Obviously, there won't be hundreds of years left for him to slowly gather energy from all over the world. If there were a machine that could collect photons and convert them, that would be great. Hiding in a cool place, Zhang Heng couldn't help but think wildly. Hey! He suddenly had a flash of inspiration. There are no machines that can collect and convert photons, but there is currently one person on Earth who can drive photon conversion. That's the light of the sun, Lina. She can drive the power of solar energy. The strongest power can continuously drive the flare activity of stars, accelerate their extinction, and ultimately evolve into supernova explosions. The more active a stellar flare is, the more active the motion of photons becomes. So, theoretically speaking, Lena is fully capable of sacrificing a star at once, creating enough photon motion to bathe Eta in the oil field of photons. Of course, it's also impossible for Lena to actually detonate a star. Just need her to collect some scattered photons, enough for Ida to complete the original repair work. After the end of the Earth campaign in the original plot, Gu Xiaoluan talked about how to build a defense line for the solar system, and the Earth launched an engineering project to build the Black Great Wall of the solar system. Rina mobilized stellar energy to support the project during the project period, which enabled humanity on Earth to officially enter the era of space exploration. Zhang Heng only needs Lina to come this way in advance, which is almost enough. As for whether his body, as a carrier, can withstand so much stellar energy at once, it is also a problem that needs to be solved first. After all, 
he couldn't stand just being exposed to the sun for half an hour. To solve this problem, he still needs to teach Lena some methods. Okay. Having said so, it must also be based on Rena's willingness to help him. It's just. Unrelated, why should someone help him? Unless Zhang Heng can come up with something for exchange. He doesn't have anything, he is now in dire straits. But he has knowledge in his mind. After all, the human brain is limited, except for some complex and technologically advanced knowledge stored in Ida's database that he cannot recall. He can still recall some of the ordinary technologies in the three-body world. I'm not afraid of those people from the supernatural seminary, they don't believe him when they see him as just an ordinary person. As soon as an expert makes a move, they know if there is one. Just put the theory there and try it out yourself to find out. As long as Lena can make a move, it doesn't matter if she puts in some ordinary skills. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Hello, do you make me look unprofessional like this? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Hello, do you make me look unprofessional like this? Since it has been decided, there is no need to continue wasting time here. Based on his understanding of the original plot, Zhang Heng knew very well that Lina was currently at the Super Seminary. He returned to Jixia City again and planned to go directly to the Super Theological Seminary to find Lina. Then, he painfully realized that he didn't know exactly where the Supernatural Seminary was built. Even if asked for directions, ordinary people cannot know the existence of such places. However, you can go to the police station where Chilin previously belonged and ask her old colleagues if they have Chilin's contact information. Contacting Chilin and then searching for Lina through Chilin will not be a problem. After Zhang Heng entered the city, he followed the direction of the police station. At this moment, a black sedan suddenly drove directly in front of him, blocking his way. It is a well-known domestic car with a unique license plate number. Seeing this, Zhang Heng had to stop, his expression calm and composed, but his mind was spinning and thinking rapidly. I see. Zhang Hengxin said to himself, what has come to mind? Most likely that night, due to my own efforts to save the police officer, there were some clues left behind. Not only did it not make people think that he had also died in the hands of gluttony, but it also revealed his own existence. It seems that acting in a human way of thinking is ultimately inferior to the conscious body that used to purely obey calculations. After Zhang Heng figured out the reason, he couldn't help but sigh. If nothing unexpected happens, there is a high probability that the visitor will be from a supernatural seminary. In Gu Xiaoluan's words, he is a person from the Divine Stick Bureau. However, it doesn't matter anymore. If it leaks, let it leak. Zhang Heng doesn't mind anything. Being discovered by the people of the Divine Academy in advance is not much different from him going to the door and leaking it himself. At most, he is treated as a mysterious person by the other party, and the other party cannot rely on this information to understand his background. As long as we don't cause those so dot called gods to pay too much attention to him in advance, things will still be within controllable range. Those so dot called gods cannot blindly target him just because of a little curiosity. This world is not the dark forest of the three body dark forest, there's really a slight disturbance and you'll definitely get shot. He was originally going to search for a supernatural seminary on this trip, but unexpectedly, the other party was also looking for him. Going in both directions, it belongs to me. Being blocked, Zhang Heng didn't react and just waited quietly. Quickly, the car door opened. A man in a suit and sunglasses got off the car and walked up to Zhang Heng. This friend, what advice do you have? Zhang Heng recognized who this person was, but he still pretended not to know and asked. After seeing Zhang Heng, this person was slightly stunned and taken aback. It's really Zhang Heng's image, too. Too wild and unrestrained. If I remember correctly, Zhang Heng hasn't taken a shower in a few days, plus he stayed overnight at the bottom of the overpass, meet me, my name is Jess, and you can also directly call me Ajai. I specialize in communicating with people like you. 
Jess has a very high level of professional competence and quickly regains his composure. He politely extends his right hand and introduces himself using his commonly used language. Okay, Zhang Heng also extended his right hand. Let's go, take me to see your leader. After speaking, Zhang Heng walked straight towards his car. It's okay, don't rush to refuse. It wasn't until Zhang Heng had already gotten into the car that he realized, ah. Now Zhang Heng can't handle him directly. He's prepared a bunch of scripts, but he hasn't even used them yet. How could Zhang Heng agree to leave with him so happily? Hey, do you make me look unprofessional like this? Okay. At least the task has been completed. Jess didn't hesitate, returned to his driving position and drove towards the direction of Chaos Hen Academy with Zhang Heng. At this moment, Zhang Heng realized that the Chaos Hen Academy was not located in the city center but in the suburbs. The vehicle drove for about 20 minutes before finally reaching its destination. Would you like to take a quick shower and tidy up? After getting off the car, Jess looked at Zhang Heng and hesitated for a moment before suggesting. Okay, thank you. Zhang Heng did not refuse, and if it weren't for his lack of conditions, he wouldn't be willing to do so. No trouble. Jess nodded and took Zhang Heng to a bathroom, where he thoughtfully prepared a new outfit for him. After completing the task, Zhang Heng's image changed greatly, and compared to before, he looked like two people. In Cantonese, it means becoming handsome. Later, Jess took Zhang Heng around the campus and also gave him some information, such as the General Dukeo who was about to meet. Zhang Heng pretended to be listening while observing the layout of the campus. Saying it's a campus, actually it looks more like a military district. A few minutes later, Jess led Zhang Heng to an office. I won't go in, you can go in yourself. General Dukeo is waiting for you inside. After Jess finished speaking, he left directly. Zhang Heng didn't hesitate at all and politely knocked on the door. After hearing a call to enter, he twisted the door handle and walked in. At first glance was a middle-aged man dressed in military uniform, with a serious expression and a serious smile. He is just Dutzao. Hello Mr. Zhang, I'm Dukeo. It's an honor for you to be here, Dukeo said politely as he saw Zhang Heng come in. Please take a seat. General Dukeo, I am also honored to meet you. Zhang Heng smiled and replied politely. After sitting in, the two faced each other across a desk, and neither of them continued to speak. The atmosphere suddenly became solemn. Mr. Zhang, where is our hometown? Finally, Dukeo couldn't help but speak up. We've had many new people here recently, and perhaps Mr. Zhang's hometown is among them. General Dukeo, we are all wise people, let's not talk in secret. Zhang Heng, however, was too lazy to probe with him and went straight to the topic, saying, there's no need to guess my background blindly. Strictly speaking, I can be considered an earthling, a serious earthling. You alien, don't doubt whether I, an authentic earthling, am an alien. He Dukeo, who was once a general on the planet Noah, launched wars in the Dino system, and his achievements were recorded in the history of the universe and widely circulated in other civilizations, including the ancient angelic civilization. Later on, I realized the disaster that war would cause to the planet and people, so I decided to make up for my mistakes. After meeting the mentor of the Divine Academy, Ruiz, they brought the Prince of Dexing, Ching Yaowen, to Earth together. You just need to know that if you don't provoke me, I definitely won't have any hostility towards you. Let's just talk about cooperation directly. Zhang Heng said. Collaboration. Du Cao frowned. He doesn't think so. Before finding Zhang Heng, he and Lianfeng had already made two hypotheses. One is that Zhang Heng belongs to a certain extraterrestrial civilization. If this assumption holds, then all you need to do is confirm whether Zhang Heng has any hostility. Not within the scope of consideration for wooing to join the super seminary. The two are that Zhang Heng is the inheritor of an unknown divine river gene, but he activated himself in advance. 
Perhaps not long ago, or perhaps a long time ago, one has become proficient in using their extraordinary abilities, which is why their origin appears mysterious. Only when this assumption is true will we consider wooing and joining the super seminary. However, he never expected that before he even started to win over, the other party would first propose to cooperate with him. Collaboration What is there to cooperate with? Xiongbing Company is not a company and can still cooperate in business operations what he wants is not just about cooperation, either joining or making all sorts of choices. This is his meaning, and it is also the above meaning. End of this chapter What is the guardian of chapter 10? You are listening at novelfull.audio. What is the guardian of chapter 10? Zhang Hang's intention is already very clear. Although he claims to be an earthling, he only wants to engage in some kind of cooperation and has no intention of joining the super seminary. However, Dukeo still felt that he should work harder to fight for it. Since Mr. Zhang is not an ordinary person, he must have noticed that the situation on earth has been turbulent in the past two days. Angels, demons, and gluttons have all come to earth at the same time. You are also an earthling, don't you just watch your home fall into chaos and don't want to do something? Dot. Zhang Heng didn't interrupt him either, just listened quietly and remained unmoved. Or rather, his passion and emotions had already been consumed as early as in the three-body world. In his view, humans in the Trisolaran's world are no different from those in the supernatural world, they are still the same humans. The Luo Ji of this world is a super warrior like Gu Xiaoluan, the power of the galaxy, and humans also do not need him, Zhang Heng. The human beings in this world are also very lucky. Gu Xiaoluan and other brave soldiers not only truly save them from the bombardment of extraterrestrial civilizations as saviors, but also lead them towards a new era. As for the distant future, what would happen if Gu Xiaoluan died in battle in a black hole Zhang Heng didn't know that during his time traveling, the Chaos Hen Academy had no ending. The future must be created by themselves. I'm sure it's not worse than humans in the Trisolaran's world, is it? Zhang Heng doesn't need to get involved anymore, he must be some kind of savior. Civilization will not be forever strong and progressive because of a great person, nor will it be destroyed because there is no one who stagnates prejudice is influenced by the three-body world, and Zhang Heng has a peculiar pessimistic attitude towards humanity. However, despite all human ailments, he is still a member of humanity. In the three-body world, after the failure of deterrence, Ching Xian was comforted and persuaded by AIAA, it's not you, it's this world. After going to Australia, Fraser further comforted Ching Xian. Child, what people have done, God remembers. After being awakened from hibernation, Ching Xian shattered Vader's efforts of over 60 years, and then the solar system was two-dot-dimensional is Vader just keeping his promise? Or is it for her? However, then the logic comforted her again. It's not you who are wrong. She is a bare child who constantly makes mistakes and is constantly forgiven by the adults around her. Are these people taking care of Ching Xian? No, it protects the humanity she represents. Of course, if possible, Zhang Heng doesn't mind helping humanity in this world. As for throwing your head and shedding your blood, let's forget it. General Du Cao, I'm here because I actually need Lina to help me with something. Of course, I won't let her work in vain. After De Keo finished speaking, Zhang Heng directly expressed his intention to come. Dukeo's emotions froze for a moment, and he felt that his righteous words were in vain. It's really not as easy to persuade as those furry kids like Gu Xiaoluan. However, when he heard Zhang Heng say he wanted Rina to help with the matter, he immediately became wary and said, May I ask, what does Mr. Zhang want Rina to help you with? He couldn't bear to be unguarded. Lina's level of danger, as someone from the Dino civilization, he wouldn't be unaware. Don't worry, I know what you're worried about. Zhang Heng didn't continue to hide and said directly, I wouldn't let her do anything dangerous like driving a solar flare. All she needs to do is collect some solar energy for me, and nothing big will happen. 
At most, it will just briefly plunge the earth into darkness for a period of time. For this, I can provide two technologies for your supernatural seminary. When negotiating a deal, if the other party has no intention, they must first make the other party interested, so that the deal can continue. Zhang Heng did not pause and directly introduced his role in those two technologies. Of course, he couldn't just take out the two-dot-way foil, such an incredible thing. Two-way foil is not easy to make, even if he is willing to take it out, with the current level of technology in Earth civilization, it is simply impossible to achieve. Even the various theories involved cannot be understood. The first technology proposed by Zhang Heng is first related to nanotechnology, the flying blade manufacturing technology. The so dot called flying blade is a fine thread made of nanoscale materials, as thin as one-tenth of a hair. Proposed by geophysicist Wang Miao and police officer Shi Chang from the three-body world. Later, with Zhang Heng's own improvements, this cutting net, chain, composed of multiple nanowires can be large or small, no longer limited to ambushes, but can also be used for active attacks and passive defense. The original flying blade once defeated the Trisolarans rebels on Earth in one fell swoop on the Panama Canal. This thing can cut all visible objects, truly cutting iron like mud, and it is also the main material for making space elevators. I don't know how the armor-piercing shell of God Slayer 1 is compared to this world. However, even if it is not as powerful as the God-slaying armor-piercing bullet, if Dukeo can produce the corresponding materials for making the God-slaying armor-piercing bullet, he does not mind changing the flying blade again, so that it can still kill the gods. On the physical level, the strength of weapons is basically linked to materials. However, even if it cannot kill the gods, it is definitely more than enough to deal with the gluttonous army. The main difficulty of this technology lies in how to extract this material. Firstly, based on nanotechnology and molecular architecture techniques, molecular probes are used to build material molecules one by one like bricks, ultimately forming filamentous structures. We can simply imagine filaments as small balls arranged in a row, tightly and firmly connected to each other, but these small balls are all molecules. Moreover, Flying blades require too high hardness and the ability to bend, so the technical requirements are simply not too demanding. Can Mr. Zhang's words be taken seriously? Is there really such a technology? After Zhang Heng briefly introduced the relevant information about flying blade, Dukeo was already tempted. Although Zhang Heng said it may not be as good as the God-killing one armor-piercing bullet, is God so easy to kill? Just getting close is enough to make his heart race. Moreover, it is a weapon that can both attack and defend. And. It also sounds easier to obtain some materials than the ones needed to manufacture Godslayer 1. Compared to ancient civilizations with their own main gods, what Earth's civilization currently lacks the most is its cultural heritage. Even the current Earth civilization, with its technological heritage brought by the Dino civilization, still has a slightly weak foundation. There is no chance for peace to continue developing, and those civilizations with cutting-dot-edge technology will not be shared with them, and they cannot afford to exchange them, of course, as long as you can meet my requirements and give me some time for the relevant papers, I can compile them all for you. Zhang Heng replied. Subsequently, we will continue to discuss the second technology. Seeing Dukeo's reaction like this, Zhang Heng knew that this cooperation was already a foregone conclusion. So, he doesn't want to pick any more powerful speeches. End of this chapter